Hey, shalom, shalom, family. Shalom, family. We hope that everyone is well. Uh, we're coming to you today with a very important message. Um, we're going to jump right into it. This, this message is for a sister that's here in Gambia. And, you know, um, we have to come together as a community when we have brothers and sisters that are in need. And this is for those that are in the West, that um, even for those that are here on the motherland right now, you know, one day you may have intentions on moving to the motherland. Or for those that want to live vicariously through us as we take our journeys through the motherland. But we have to come together as a community when one is in need. And this is one of those opportunities. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Amadi. And, and if I share, you would like to share before I, I have a statement that the family um, is wanting us to read. But... Uh, we don't want people to judge because there are things that can happen outside of your control, you know, and um, and sometimes these things happen. And uh, for the ones out there, we're asking, you know, that no one. Um, <clears throat> uh, we're asking everyone to be positive. Um, my uh, thought, and I, I just try to think about what other people are thinking. And for the ones who are concerned about how the funds would be dispersed or whatever, um, I'm sorry guys, uh, for ones who may be uh, questioning uh, how things are being handled, I will say this. After I read the statement, after we read the statement, if you feel compelled to give, you cannot worry about every aspect. You know, when we go to um, a restaurant and we buy something, we don't wonder how the owner, how rich they are, or how they're going to spend that money. We're just, we're just, you know, uh, giving towards the cause of maybe whatever. So um, my thing is, we want everyone to be positive, and I also want to state that uh, someone had said something earlier in our comment section about uh, us not um, uh, talking about this story. Uh, we have a stance that we feel that people's private, um, private life is their private life. And unless we're asked to intervene, we don't. And in this instance, the family and many of the friends of this beautiful lady have asked a lot of uh, people with channels and if if uh, we only want positive people no negative people please uh, positive youtubers uh, if you know a positive influence influencers uh, on YouTube or any other platform please share the information we will include all of the information in the description box to help this young lady so without further ado, I'm just going to read the statement that the family wants us to read. Um, we're coming to, uh, coming to you in behalf of Anja Africa, also known as Andrea Martin. Uh, she is 56 years old. She's a beautiful soul with one son. She is usually referred to as Sister Anja. She is also from Reading, Pennsylvania. Our sister moved to the Gambia and is now in an emergency situation and needs our help. At the end of 2023, she went on a fast and quickly became severely dehydrated, which caused her to have to be admitted to the nearest hospital. While there, she caught pneumonia and purportedly had a stroke and that induced full body paralysis. She has been in the hospital since the beginning of January because of this. We really need help getting her airlifted out of Gambia and into New York. Please donate through this verified GoFundMe and share amongst your community. And I will include that on the screen as well as in the description box. We are reaching out to our followers and our subscribers because as a community, we must look out for each other. Many of us want the opportunity to travel and possibly even live 
on the continent and Sister Anja is no different. Sister Anja only wanted to live out her dream of being closer to her roots and she shouldn't have to go through this alone. You don't have to know her to want to wish her well. You don't have to know her to share this with your own community. You don't have to know her to donate to help her cause. She's, she, like any of us, is a sister and a mother, a daughter, and a friend. Experiences like Sister Anja's speaks volume on how it truly takes a community to get through life's trials and tribulation. If any of us were either her or her family and friends in this situation, we would want as many people as possible to organize our safe return home for care. In her time of need, Sister Anja needs as much financial and emotional support as possible to heal fully and peacefully and privately. I added that. Please respect her privacy. If you're curious as to where the donations are going and who will receive them, Kelly Watts, a longtime sorority sister and sister friend, and Robert Martin, her brother, are the people who will be handling it. You can also go to uh, Smile Lounge and Zola Cafe if you are here in the Gambia to leave your donation. Sister Anja's case is a matter of extreme urgency and she is in dire need of donations for her to be transported out of the Gambia and back to the United States to receive the medical care that she needs to survive. So guys, um, if I can say in ending, uh, if we share this with other influencers, positive influencers, we get this information out. If a million people could just give a dollar, that's a million dollars, you know? So, I mean, of course we have people who can give more, but we're just giving an example of how it only takes you know, a small commitment from many. Everyone do their part. Everyone do their part. We have dropped off uh, our funds, uh, some funds at um, uh, Cafe Zola, and we will uh, uh, drop off more uh, within the next couple of days or so. So, guys, again, please respect the family's privacy. Please give as you would want it given unto you. And uh, without... Any, I, I don't have anything else to say except for this can show pan-Africanism, showing us coming to, hey, it's not just the African thing, it's a humanity thing. Right. So whoever sees this video, no matter what your color is, um, please give to this cause and help our sister get back to uh, uh, the States so that she could get the care that she needs. Thank you all so much. All right, thanks, family. Shalom. Shalom.